All right, we're ready to do our yellow next. So for the yellow, if you read, it says we're using yellow and it's the color is called gambiage and it's the sixth color on your palette. So if you got your palette starting at magenta, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's in that corner. I have clean water to start with. All right, just like your other ones, darker on the outside edge here. And then as I go towards the light, dip it in the water and we start to get lighter. Okay. And then we go to row two. Well, we did red and blue, so this one's done. This one, the first row is all done. All right, this, this one says red plus yellow. So now we're gonna glaze yellow over the top. So when we take um, red and yellow, we're gonna get an orange here. So see what happens here as we take, lay down the red watercolor and then we're putting yellow over the top. See how that glazing happens? I'm adding water as I go up and you'll notice it starts to change to a kind of an orangish color. Okay. So the next one says blue and red. All right. So, um, looks like I must have, I'll have to come back in the next video with that red. Okay. So the next one here is yellow. So the first color I laid down is yellow. So I can do that one. Okay, and dip it in that water. And then so it gets lighter as it comes up towards the top. All right, the next one is yellow. And eventually we're gonna glaze over red. We'll do that in another video. So darker on the edge here, then dip it in the water. Pull it up. All right, then this says blue plus yellow. So I'm gonna layer yellow over the top of the blue. So we're gonna get like a greenish color here. So let's see what happens when blue is underneath and we glaze yellow over the top. Watercolor is a lot about layering and glazing. So we really wanna experiment with that. So you kind of know what happens, what colors start you, you'll get when you glaze and layer. And like I said, the key is everything's gotta be dry before you layer another color or you have a muddy mess. Okay, so we're in the fourth row. It says red plus yellow, and then eventually we're gonna add an, um, some red over the top of that. So we're gonna get like an orange again. And then when we add the red over the top of it, it'll be more of a red orange. So you can see how these two are similar because they're the exact same right now. All right, the next one on our list is red plus yellow and eventually we'll add blue to it. So it should look similar to the one circle that I just did next door. All right, then the next one is yellow. And eventually we're gonna add red and yellow over the top of that. All right, let's go down to row number five. All right.
right, yellow's listed first. So we're gonna make it darker on that bottom right corner and dip it in the water. And pull it up. All right, this next one is blue plus yellow, and then we're going to add blue over the top. So we're going to have a blue green eventually. So right now we're making the green part, but then we'll layer another glaze some blue over the top to make more of a blue green. All right, then yellow was our first color here. And then pull that up. All right, row six. All right, red, blue, red, so we're Good there. Blue, red, blue, nothing there. Blue, red, yellow, so nothing yet. Last row, red, blue, yellow. All right, so I've done the red, I've done the blue, so now I'm gonna add that yellow, that third color over the top. So what's gonna happen with this one? We're adding all three primary colors, so it gets to be kind of a brownish color. When you add all three primary colors, you start to get kind of a brownish, color. So let's see what shade of brown we get by glazing in this order of red, then blue, then yellow. Okay. Then we have blue and then yellow next. So I'm going to, so we're going to get green again here for the time being until we add the red over the top and see what happens, how that color looks we have blue on the bottom. And then yellow is listed first here, so. So now we've added our yellow next. 